most awkward angle of our life, but we are out for breakfast because we checked out our Airbnb and we did not want to cook and make a mess. So we are at a local, I think it's called Hatusa Cafe. The waitress barely spoke English, so that was fun. We chose the outdoor seating. We're the only ones out here, hence the reason we're videoing in public. My iced coffee came. It's good, a lot, lot better than the one yesterday. Oh, the Sprite's it's just as ever. Yeah, he got a Sprite, but it's nice coffee. It's really good. Definitely makes up for the bad one yesterday. Does it? Yes, it's really good. Tastes like an espresso chocolate milk. Oh, well, I thought oh. it tasted fine. Well, it tastes good. <laughs> Something we have learned in Puerto Rico is they do not believe in lids on drinks, even to go. They still will not put lids on their drinks. So I've just been spilling everywhere I go because Nathan's food came before mine. He has a egg, ham, peppers, and onion sandwich. Essentially it's an omelet. <clears throat> but like with bread, it's really, really good. And french fries and ketchup. But I'm American. Yes, and my food has not came yet, but it's pretty cool they bring out food as it's ready instead of waiting. My food came. It's a steak burrito. It looks amazing. Excuse the terrible angle, but I asked for hot sauce and she said, oh, it's really hot. And I said, it's fine. I like hot stuff. And then she brought it out and she's like, it's really hot. Be careful. So pretty excited about that. Bite the wrapper? No, no, no. Yes. A big old bite of steak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, I think I bored too much. You're gonna cry. I'm gonna try it on this piece of steak first. What is that? It's hot? It's really hot. Okay. Stay clear. It, that's good flavor though. What? Don't mind me. I'm just... No, I don't need to be in the <laughs> I'm sorry. Wanna try a bite? Oh! Oh, yeah. Does that hot sauce on? Uh -uh. I don't believe you, but I'll do it. This corner right here has a little bit, but if you eat from the middle, it doesn't. If I bite into hot sauce, I'm gonna be kicked. They were all super friendly. We had four different people help us, um, but it was great. Now, we are going to go find a laundromat to do all of our laundry. That bag back there is full of laundry. So we have to go figure out how to do laundry now. Just did laundry at the Drop Coin laundromat. Took an hour and 10 minutes. We can finally start our day. First stop is Survival Beach, which is a 20 minute hike to get to, so that's gonna be so fun. It's 82 degrees, but feels pretty, pretty warm. It's hotter today than it was every other day, I think. <laughs> I think so too, it's really warm today. Anyways, so, adventuring can start now that we finally have clean clothes. Also, Nathan is definitely a Puerto Rican driver. He does not wait on anybody. He just goes whenever he wants. You just pull out in front of people and they'll stop. But we've been getting around to where we need to go. Very easy, so pro Puerto Rican driver. We made it to Surfer's Beach. You park at Surfer's Beach and then you walk, hike to Survival Beach. 
probably the easiest place that we found so far. Like the least stressed figuring out like where to go, where to park that we've been thus far on the trip. It was very simple, so. You have to walk over rocks and all sorts of stuff. And so we're gonna put shoes on so we don't slip and fall and get hurt. On the path to Survival Beach, following the signs, hoping it's leading us correctly. Made it to Tabletop Beach, which is the halfway point. They say you'll know it because it looks like there's tables in the water. Oh, there. There's one. There's also two more on the other side. Made it to the end of Survival Beach. Pretty cool. See the rocks being hit Hot. by the waves. Guys, we did it. Made it to our next oh. Airbnb. It's definitely the biggest place we've had so far. This is the like seating area. We've never had a couch before while we're here. And a little kitchen area. Biggest kitchen as well. We're cooking supper tonight. Come through here and it's the bathroom. Nice. Shower. Pretty large as well. Pretty, I mean, a really good size bathroom. Front door, and then through this door is two single beds, which we will not need to be using, but really nice to have an extra bedroom. And then back here. The master bedroom, queen bed. Nice big room, also the biggest room we've had. All of our stuff, the TJ Maxx bag is full of clean clothes that we washed today. I need to fold them all, put them back in her suitcases. But yeah, super nice, cozy house. It also has like a whole outdoor area. The outdoor area, I think we have chickens. Oh my word, look. There's a huge rooster. I love it. Anyways, we have a grill. And then they have this beautiful area. 
a pool. anything yesterday past hiking to survival beach it was probably the most exhausting thing I've done in a very very long time and pretty certain we were pretty dehydrated and just didn't do a single recording I was pretty bad off I mean I didn't think we were dehydrated I think I was dehydrated anyways and then we no. went to crash boat beach which was super super busy there was people everywhere so we did not record any but we swam for 15 20 minutes probably the water crystal clear was so nice you could be standing like in water this deep and look down and perfectly see the bottom of the ocean and your feet like perfectly clear that was like the best water ever um we are on our way to some ruins and then we are going to a beach that has rocks again and then like the water crashes into the rocks pretty dramatically and then I think one beach that is kind of like a swimmable beach and then hoping to stop by a coffee shop and a waterfall so we will see what all we get done today building they say that pirates used to come here just a small building
we made it to Cueva. Just kidding, there's people. We made it to Cuevo del Indio, which means Indian cave. Some pretty cool rocks to climb on. Got like this big opening. We wore sandals today. We should have worn our shoes. Down there is a cave, but I am not going in it. You have to climb through like the smallest tunnel ever to get back in it. Got a good view up here though. It's definitely just a random hole. Yikes. Oh my. There's holes all over. Oh my, there's a hole on this side. There's a hole on this side. There's a hole there. I do not like this. Did you just pick up a crab? Is it all dead? Wow. Please be careful, goodness gracious. Stopped by the food truck today. We are going to park and watch the beach while we eat our pinchos. Pinchos! 
pollo pincho tres pollo pincho yeah we got bread so chicken on a skewer and barbecue chicken on a skewer pieces oh, of bread that have been grilled dude it's way more saucy than the last one show the camera mm. Hashtag saving money on our three and a half week vacation that cost us I think one of the coolest things about Puerto Rico is all of their food trucks everywhere. Like, food trucks is the main bulk of their eating places. It's really cool. One pincho with two pieces of bread is three seventy-five, which is not terrible. Trucks just everywhere along the side of the road. Like, it could be a highway, and there's just food trucks. Definitely very cool, and my favorite part. That is it for our lunch. We're going to a beach next where we can swim. It's literally like a few minutes that way, um, but it is much calmer because it has like a little like, what do you call it? Like, an like a lagoon. Lagoon. It has like a lagoon where the water is super calm. So that's where we're gonna go next. lagoon that was supposed to be swimmable it was not swimmable today due to the really really rough waves and water so we sat there and watched the waves for like 15 minutes and then we drove 45 minutes to cafe oro a coffee shop and it was delicious it was like the best coffee i've probably ever had I got a creme brulee latte and it was like creme brulee whatever and then they did whipped cream and then they did sugar they toasted the sugar like you would get on a creme brulee like I could like I could break it like you would eating the dessert creme brulee so cool so good I'm gonna try to recreate it at home I don't have a blowtorch so I need to get me one of those but I got and one. then Nathan got a cookies and cream frap and he added a shot to it that he was said delicious. it was really good. I didn't taste it. No, it was gone before he knew it. Yeah. <laughs> it was the best coffee drinks we've had while we've been here. So good. And then we bought two more pounds of coffee. Dark oh, yeah. roast and a darker roast. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. It was in Spanish. It was Sorry, all in Spanish. We're not exactly sure what it says. But That's we how you know guys. it's authentic for me. Yeah. Mom. Anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so. You hit your head. <laughs> no, I hit the camera up here. Oh. Anyways, hopefully the camera's fine. <laughs> and now, uh, <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Um, now we are on our way to Waterfall. Made it to the Waterfalls. We got the shoes on? It's like, it's no, it's like concrete and then just like wooden steps. Anyways, made it to the Gonzaladia. Waterfalls, really nice man parking. You had to pay ten dollars to park, um, and he kind of gave you like instructions on where to go, which is really helpful because most of the places we go to, there's no one there, and it's like up to us to figure out where to go. But that was really nice. Anyway, so let's go to the waterfall.
this is Saturday. We have not left the Airbnb. We have stayed here all day because we're pretty tired. Worn out, I'm pretty tired. Um, we've been going, going, going for like 10 days now and I was just really tired. So we spent the day here chilling, enjoying, enjoying the view. Um, we have like the largest view ever. I feel like this is the most I've ever been able to see like ever in my life from one spot. Cause you can see like all the way over there and then come all the way over here. And you can just see for forever. And like that is the ocean over there. Oh uh, yeah, they also beep coming down this hill in case anybody else is trying to come up. There is a house directly below us more houses there's a little chicken coop down there but yeah super cool place super cool view hey, hey, oh my nice nice sure our steaks aren't done uh i got pulling it off strictly at three minutes aside at hot earned hook. At say, hot earned hook. I was gonna say you could probably pull them off now. Probably. We're gonna look at back at this when our steaks aren't as rare as we like them. And they did not have Hidden Valley Ranch, so we had to get Crab Ranch. So. Also, why can't I open it? I can't open it. Not his best work. Mistake is well done, but. And now we sit on the couch and watch Mark Wayne's. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And drink water because, well, Nathan drinks Dr. Pepper like water. Um, I'm drinking water because I have not drank enough water on this trip and I can feel it. So, also just discovered that the Airbnb has a karaoke machine. So, catch us not doing karaoke. 